Twenty eighty six kilo title. Can you talk about how you're feeling? It's pretty awesome. Uh, just another good good tournament. I decided to enter. Just get that international feel. Got to wrestle some good guys. And a guy in the finals I'm gonna be battling with out for the next few years. You know, and the trial is coming up. So I mean, it was a good win for me. You talked about wrestling good guys. We'll start with Petit Erdi, uh, world silver medalist a couple years back. Tenno Blink Kim. Can you talk about your mindset heading into that match? Um, I honestly didn't know who he was. Um, Jermaine was telling me, I think other coaches, he's like, he's good. So all right, yeah, he looks like I believe them. So, went out there just making sure I stayed smart. You know, that first match, even though I tagged him right away, I didn't feel too hot, you know, I got tired. I was trying to over wrestle in positions. So I knew this was gonna be a tougher match, so, you know, I just broke down. Got, got my long and heavy snaps going, make sure that he got tired, then put it on him in the second. Now let's talk about Deirdre in the finals. You, you said you're going to be meeting them coming up. Goal yeah. for 2020 is obviously to make the Olympic team. Uh, what did you learn about yourself through that finals match? Um, that I, keep, that I, I could keep my composure, you know. Tight matches like that is close. Uh, try, to, try to put the matches away, kind of like it's a little dagger in the heart, you know, not leave it at 5-3. Got that takedown with about a minute left. So those kind of things, you know, starting to work on, starting to get better. So I like, I don't leave it up to the ref at the end of the match. Does wrestling him more help you or help him? Um, I think it helps me. I mean, it's always been like that since we were kids. Uh, my dad would get kids from all over the country to come train with us. And they said, ah, uh, the kids would be like, he's gonna get a feel for me. But same time you're getting a feel for the kid. And in our mindset, and our thought would always be like, eventually we're gonna figure him, out, figure him out so good that he'll never beat us again. So I think it'll favor me. Okay. You guys have flip flop. In yeah. The last series, few series, right? What was the biggest difference in this one? What was? The, is there anything that you felt different? Is there anything that you worked on different? Uh, it's that target on your back. I mean, just that focus, making sure after a loss, and even after a win like this. I keep remembering the loss that I had. You know, he had a whole year after I beat him. Constant training, training, knowing what he's gonna do, how he's gonna beat me. So after he beat me last year, kind of the, the role switch. So I'm going after him, remembering that pain, how bad it sucked not to be able to wrestle a final X. So, you know, just stay consistent in my training. I remember how bad, how bad the losses hurt to continue to win. And you were up 5-0. Mm -hmm. What do you have to do to assure yourself that you don't give up that big of a lead? Um, I mean, anything could happen, you know, especially in freestyle. College wrestling is a little different, but freestyle, you could come back from an 8-0 lead quick. You know, laces, guts, four-pointers. So, you know, just staying, staying stingy in every, every takedown. Uh, don't give out, you know, easy push-outs and be smart. You know, you know obviously you don't want to give up the four. Just wrestle tactical. For the, for the most part. And you made it this far, uh, not getting complacent with winning gold. So what yeah. adjustments do you have to make moving forward? Uh, keep reaching for the top. I mean, there's still a lot of guys out there that I have to beat uh, to make the team, to win a gold medal, you know, at the Olympics and everything else I want to do. So just staying hungry for the rest of the, my career. And what's next for you after this? <laughs> Back to the college season. Uh, Go back to ASU, wrestle some folks out matches, NCAA's, get that over with, and start start getting ready for the Olympics.